Why did H. W. R. Wade write that passports have no status or legal effect at common law whatever? Public law, text, cases, and materials. 2019, 4th edition, page 316. Moreover, since Wade says that prerogative decisions must affect rights, he argues that a decision by the UK government to commit the United Kingdom to an international treaty would not be an exercise of prerogative power. Entry into treaties cannot, by itself, alter rights in domestic UK law. Similarly, according to Wade, the granting of passports is not a prerogative power, because a passport has no status or legal effect at common law whatever. Point 28. Footnote 28 refers to page 58 in Sir William Wade's Constitutional Fundamentals. Revised edition, 1989, London, Stevens and Sons. The University of Toronto has just one copy, but I don't live near it and it charges $20 for interlibrary loans. Wade writes that a passport is simply an administrative document. On its face it is an imperious request from the Foreign Secretary that all whom it may concern shall allow the bearer to pass freely without let or hindrance and shall afford him assistance and protection. In reality it is an international identity card certifying that a traveler is accepted by this country as one of its nationals. A United Kingdom nationals passport does not have the slightest effect upon his legal rights whatever they may be, to go abroad and return. Those rights are a matter of common and statute law, which the Crown has no power to alter. Basically, Wade's argument is that all citizens of the kingdom have the right at common law to leave the kingdom and return to it freely. Since the issuance of a passport does therefore not affect the citizens' rights as they already have that right, it does not count as an exercise of legal power, and cannot, therefore, be an exercise of prerogative power.